Welcome to today's episode of JL Johnny's Jeep Life. Today we're installing this license plate relocation bracket. Join me. With the Smitty Built Tire Carrier, I did get this bracket and I wasn't going to use it, but I'm glad that I kept it. This is the bracket that I got from ARB and if you look, it doesn't reach these bolts. So what I had to do is I had to um, rig it so that it will work with, with the original Smitty Built relocation bracket. So I bolted this, drilled a hole through there and there, and bolted this bracket to the ARB bracket. Now the next thing that was really shocking to me is these were the holes that were originally for the license plate, but that doesn't line up with the license plate. I had to re-drill these two holes here. I've ran the wire for the license plate light through here, through the access hole, and it's gonna go through the rim into the back gate, which I'll show you in a few minutes. We take the included bolts, which are 10 millimeter bolts, by the way. And because the the nut on the back is a locking nut, all I have to do is put it into place and it will tighten it. Now that's connected, we can push that back in there. Now let's hook up the plates. I've got an Allen key on this side and a nut on this side. Great. So let me show you how I ran the wires. First thing you gotta do is take this strip here and pull that. This whole thing will come right out. There's the grommet that's down here and I put a little slice into it. Which came through here. And then I just wrapped it around here a few times. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut a little slice into here and a little slice into here so that this wire is inside that wire loom. Before running this wire, I have to take all this out. So let's quickly do that. trim pieces back on you're not going to see any wires hanging out right here we got a grommet that's going into the body that is the wire that's going down to where the license plate used to be right here 
So we're gonna hook up to that wire there, run it down here, across here, and into the new wire line. The best way to access your license plate light is by removing the brake light. You're not gonna be able to get this fitting through the grommet, so I suggest just snipping it off. Next we'll take the grommet and we'll just place a little slice in there so we can get this wire to it. I'm going to use red for power and black for ground, as you always should. Nice tight connection. Now I just take a lighter and shrink these. Keep all the moisture in. And it gives it a more secure connection so it doesn't slip or anything. And everything else is going to snap back into place. And before we close this all up, we're just going to wrap this in tape just to make sure that no, no wires go stray. It's always a good idea just to clean everything up. Now that I got everything put back together, all the trim pieces back in, carpeting back in, and all the paneling back in, it's the moment of truth. And it works. Now I am legal again. I can drive down the street and not be uh, hassled by the police for not having a, a license plate light. All lit up and it looks pretty good. The relocation bracket itself is in a good location. Right underneath that is my backup camera. On JK models, the license plate is usually dead smack center of the rim. But on a JL model with the backup camera, you gotta have it raised just a little bit, and I don't think that looks too bad at all. Well, I would call that another successful installation video here at JL Johnny's Jeep Life. Now, if you like this video, smash that like button down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already by hitting that little bell button that way you get uh, notifications on my next video uh, for my next video i'm going to be putting in some sunshade uh, netting up on the top of my roof here um, when you're driving down with the roof off the sun just gets to be a little bit too much and uh, this way you still get the open freedom but uh, you're not getting blasted to death with sun rays so definitely look out for that video uh, thanks for joining me, guys, and until next time, keep those wheels side down. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.